Hi everyone, Coach Erin here. In this video, you'll find three sections. Okay, section one is mid-body or body tension. Section two is active flex. And section three is bands. In section one, which is mid-body or body tension, is all of your dish work, your eyes, wires, T's and W's, your scapular push-ups and your normal push-ups. Okay, everything is for 10 seconds or sets of 10. All right. Your scout push-ups are 10, and you can split your elbows in and elbows out push-ups, five of each, until you get a bit stronger, and then you can make it 10. All right. Moving on to active flex, so section two. Again, everything is for 10, okay? But it'll be up one, down two, up three, down four, up five, down six, all the way to 10. All right. The last set of kicks, the needle kicks, the very last ones on that section, level twos and threes, you wouldn't have done them before, but I encourage you to have a go. Okay, they're the ones where my hands are on the floor and I kick my foot to the roof. It's the last little bit. Okay, I encourage you to give them a go and we can add them into your program later. Section three is bands. Okay, level twos, you wouldn't have done this before, but again, I encourage you to give it a go. Okay, if you don't own a band, that is fine. Do the exercises without a band. But if you do have one laying around at home, I encourage you to add it in. Okay. Everything in this section will be 10, unless you know, so senior girls, you know which ones are for 20, okay? So we start sitting nice and tight, lift our arms up, chin up, legs nice and tight. We hold this for 10 seconds, and then we go into our pulses. You'll be doing them for 10 seconds, sink in your head in one, out two, in three, out four, all the way to 10. So it'll be five tuck-ins in total. Then we go into our bounces. Your legs should be nice and tight so they don't actually bend. You'll do this for 10 seconds as well before you roll back into your dish. You'll hold this for 10 seconds, and because it is quite short, you'll do the whole thing with your arms up against your ears. You'll rock for 10. If you're, an, if you're a junior, like a level 2 or 3, you're still struggling with rocks, you can just hold it. And then we're going to upper body lifts. So you'll do the same thing as you did with the tuck-ins. You'll go up 1, down 2, up 3, down 4. And then you do the same thing with your legs, up one, down two, up three, down four. And then you'll roll to your side and you do the same thing on your side. So dish for 10. And you're going to rocks. If you're a level two or three and rocks are still a bit awkward, you can just do lifts or pull your arm in like what I've just done in the video. It'll make it a little bit easier. Try to focus on keeping those heels and toes together as you do it. And then you've got upper body lifts. So you're just trying to lift your shoulder off the floor. Again, if this is a bit tricky, you can just put your hand on your shoulder like you did in the rocks. Same thing on your legs. So up one, down two, three, down four. Rolling through on a modish to the other side where you repeat the same exercise. So you hold for 10 and then you'll rock for 10. Again, if it's too hard, pull your arm in. Or just do lifts. And then you do the same thing. You do upper body lifts and then lower body lifts. So up one, down two, up three, down four, all the way up to 10. Okay, so there'll only be five of each lift. Again, trying to squeeze your heels and toes together. You'll notice that I'm in a dish on my side. I'm not too archy. And then you go to your Superman. So arms will be against your ears the whole time. Don't get lazy. Squeeze your bottom really hard and keep your knees locked out. Then you rock. Same thing all the way to 10 seconds. And then you do upper body lifts. Try to keep your feet pressed onto the floor. If you have hyperextended legs like I do, your knees will be off if you keep your toes down. When you do your legs, try to keep a hollow chest position, so like an angry cat back. And you got your eyes, Y's, T's, and W's. So what I'm doing right now is my eyes. So I've got my forehead glued to the floor, and I lift up 10 times. Then I go to a Y. Same thing, forehead pressed to the floor, thumbs to the roof. And you got your T, forehead down, thumbs to the roof, all the way to 10. Next is a W, so you'll start in an I, lift up, bend your elbows, pull back as far as you can, and then back to your I. You should feel it where it says reach on my back, you'll see, you'll feel it really, it should get quite sore through there. And then you're going to push up into your front support, and you've got your scapular push-ups. So your elbows don't bend. You're just dropping your shoulders up and like your shoulders are going up and down. Okay, you're going to do 10 of these. 
and then you've got push-ups. So you've got five push-ups with your elbows going out, so they're quite wide, okay? And then you've got five of the elbows in, and they're quite tricky. You can cheat it by catching your ribs on your elbows if you get stuck. Excuse my poor form. All right, next we move on to our active flex. So you're going to start by lying on the floor nice and flat. And you're going to kick. So up, one, down, two. Up, three, down, four. All the way up to ten. Then you're going to catch and pull in and count to ten again. You're actively trying to pull your foot towards your face while keeping your bottom leg pressed to the floor. Then you've got a ten-second free hold where you're trying to hold it up as high as you can for the whole time. Then you're going to switch to your other leg. So up, one, down, two three, down, four, okay? Focusing on keeping that bottom leg pressed onto the floor the whole time, okay? So again, you're trying to pull in as hard as you can, trying to keep both of your butt cheeks pressed on the floor so you're not twisting your hips. I'm going to 10 second hold. Then you're going to roll to your side, okay? So you can do this flat or on your elbow. So up one, down two, up three, down four, all the way to 10, trying to keep that bottom leg nice and still. If you can, you're going to thread through without falling backwards. If you can't grab it with your bottom arm, that's fine. You can hold onto it with your top. You're trying to pull it in as hard as you can behind your shoulder while keeping that bottom leg pressed into the floor and again with a 10-second free hold. Okay, and then you're going to roll and do your other side. So again, this can be done lying flat or on your elbow. Up one, down two, up three, down four, all the way up to 10. And then pulling it in. Again, if you can't switch arms, that's fine. Just keep holding on with your top arm. Keep that bottom leg nice and tight the whole time. Try not to get too lazy. And then a 10 second free hold. You're trying to pull that leg down yourself using your own muscles. Okay, then you want to backwards. You're gonna be in an angry cat shape. You're gonna point your leg behind you to start. And you're just lifting your leg nice and straight up. One, down, two, up, three, down, four, all the way to 10. Keeping your arms nice and straight. Then we move on to ring kick. So you bend your back leg at the top. I have literally no real back flex, so I'm pretty impressed at that, okay? Some of you will be able to kick yourself in the head. If you if you are able to kick yourself in the head, keep your chin down so you don't actually get yourself, okay? And then your other leg. You're trying to keep your hips square, but you can let them roll a little bit if it means you're going to get a little bit higher. So again, with the kicks, and then a 10-second hold at the end. Keeping your arms nice and straight, lifting up as high as you can. Okay, then you've gone to needle kick. So level twos and threes, you may not be doing this in your class, but if you learn from this video, then we can add them in. Okay, so up one, down two, up three, down four, all the way to 10. And then a 10 second hold, you're trying to keep both your legs straight and your both arms straight. And then you've got rolls. So you're trying to square your hips and then unsquare. So you just pull that free top hip towards the floor and then rolling it back up to the ceiling. Okay. And then you've got your other leg. So 10 kicks. Kicking up as high as you can, as hard as you can, keeping those legs nice and straight. Then a 10 second hold, again, keeping both elbows straight. Trying to keep your shoulders nice and square, and then you've got a hip roll. So you can see this way is a bit better. I pull one hip down to the floor and then let it back up again. And that's the end of active flex. All right, next is bands. So if you're a level two, you won't have one of these bands yet. But if you watch my feet, you'll be able to copy, okay? So... I go from a big flex, I point my feet, keep my toes up, point my toes down, toes come up, foot comes up, okay? So you can do this with the band. If you don't have a band, you can do it without, okay? So you're going to wrap the band around the top half of your foot and pull it back so there's a bit of tension on the band, okay? So again, you'll point your foot, toes up, toes down, toes up, foot up, okay? So you'll be able to see that through the band, okay? Our next one. You're going to wrap your foot into the TheraBand and have the band on the opposite side of the foot with the band around it. And you're trying to pull your pinky toe down. Okay, so watch my feet. See how I'm trying to pull that foot out. My knees are staying straight to the roof. And I'm just pulling my ankle out. Okay, so again, you can do it without the band or with the band. Okay, wrap your foot, take your opposite leg across and then pull the band down. Okay, hold the band in the opposite hand. Okay, you're using the band for resistance against that part of your foot. Okay, it should strengthen the ligaments that are on the outside of your ankle. Okay, other leg across, pull it down. And you're pulling that foot across. Okay, 
Alright, our next one, you're putting your feet in your band, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can wrap your hands if your band's a bit too long, sit up nice and tall, we're doing rows. So this is for like, like the back of your shoulders and your triceps, okay? So you sit up nice and tall and you're just pulling your elbows back in line with your body and then forwards again. Okay, try to sit up nice and tall. Okay, you'll do 10 of these as well, just like the other ankle ones, okay? The next one, you're doing tricep pulls. So you're sitting on your band, hands together behind your head, elbow should be against your head and you're just pulling up. Okay, try to sit up as tall as you can as you do it. Okay, hiding your ears. Good, all right, our next one. You're gonna tie, oh, nope, I lied to you. Our next one, while well, I fix my camera, you're gonna stand on your TheraBand. You can wrap your hands to make the TheraBand a bit tighter and all you're doing is shrugging your shoulders up and down. Okay, you wanna not be hunchy, so you wanna pull your shoulders back as you do it. Okay, because a lot of gymnasts, where we te tell you to be very hollow and shoulders forward, angry cat shape. Now we're doing the muscles on the back of your shoulders so you don't end up like an old lady with a hump. Okay, your next one, you're going to tie your TheraBand around your legs. You want to make sure your legs are together when you do it. Otherwise, it's going to be too loose and it'll fall off. Okay, I do mine with a dub, like two ties. Okay. All right. You're going to stand up. We're going to do some squats. You want to have your feet slightly wider than your hips okay and you're bending your legs trying to keep your knees over your toes they're not coming in you want to push away the band you want to stretch it as you go okay only go as far as you can as long as your knees are doing this like the right thing if you have a mirror do it in front of the mirror so you can watch to make sure your knees are doing the right thing okay all right these are optional these are single legs so only do these if you're double leg squats are good okay so you're doing these one-legged making sure that knee goes over your toe using your other leg to pull the band you want to get a bit of resistance going all right the next one you're gonna lie on your side these are called clams okay you keep your feet together and you're just pulling your knees apart you want to make sure that that top hip doesn't roll okay you want to try to keep your hips square next one you're gonna lift your feet off the floor and do the same thing so this will work a different part of your bottom muscle Okay, you got three muscles in your bottom, they're your glutes. Okay, you'll see it from the other side. So feet are down, opening your knees, keeping your hips without rolling. Okay, and then you can lift your feet up and it'll do, it'll work you a little bit harder. Okay, you'll do 10 of each of these to start with and then you can just build it up as it gets easier. All right, next, these are for your hamstrings, so the muscles at the back of your legs at the top. Okay. These are called hamstring lifts or hip lifts. So you're just rolling your spine off the floor and lifting your hips up as high as you can go and squeeze your bottom at the top. Okay. That is the end of the band section.